Hi and welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses at Central Equestrian La Luce. Today we're going to go on with our Words of Wisdom series with the classical principles of the art of training horses and Master Nuno Oliveira. So today the chapter we're going to look at is about the rider's responsibility to always keep his horse correct. So this is quite, oh yes, it's only a page, this one, so I think we might just read it because this is really important stuff. So, um, he's talking about, you know, when you've taught your horse lots of moves in the beginning, he's talking about going on to Grand Prix, We're not quite there yet, <laughs> we'll keep working towards that one. Um, but um, the importance of varying the work and just because your horse knows a lot of moves that you don't do them all every day you know I think this is the same whatever you do you know when we used to show jump you know you don't go doing the jumps you would have to do in a competition that height and standard of jumps every day you know you would do different things so it's the same principle um, so what do we mean by that so basic attention to calmness, relaxation, straightness, cadence, cadence, energy and promptness of the response to the aids. To return always to the basic exercises and to spend more time with them than with the more advanced exercises. These advanced exercises one asks for one at a time and when one feels the horse is ready to perform them. It's better to do them little and well than many times and often not so well. To know and understand that the spur is not always the expression of strength of the leg, but also perhaps an aid for relaxation and calmness of the horse. The rider should be so sensitive to feel the back of the horse and should know if the horse has slept in a bad position in his stable. The tactful rider feels if parts of the horse is tired and knows how to engage that part without force. You know, so the spur thing, I always used to have a thing with Miguel about this because of my long legs. I mentioned that in the other episode. But you know, it's the difference of something very small and if it's very small, delicate stroking action, you know, rather than the whole leg action. It's... Um, I think it also depends on the horse. It's mainly about the tact of the rider, you know, to be able to use the spur in that way takes a very uh, good independent seat, first of all, and um, a, real, a real tact and feel for the horse. So the horse is not a machine, it's a living being. Of course, one rides him and he never forgets the movements he's learned. But what is necessary to know is to always ask the commands correctly, without bad consequences to the body of the horse. When at each session one begins to work his horse, it is necessary to feel how he is that day and to know how to adapt the intensity of his aids from the assessment of the horse on that day and to know the combination of work which is suitable on that day. So that's feeling, that's a way back to awareness, isn't it? Feeling exactly where your horse is at that day and what exercises he needs to be able to give his best in that moment. It's always necessary to complete a session of work thinking about the horse being in his best form for the next day. In order to complete this chapter, I will tell you of an episode I saw a few months ago. I was in a corner of a well-known menage watching a horse master at work. The latter stopped me, uh, stopped near me and gave me in the beautiful French language, academic French, an extremely knowledgeable and detailed explanation of the difficulties in the mechanics of the movement of his horse. He invited me to sit on the horse. I did. And at the end, finding I obtained results, he expected a long and detailed, knowledgeable explanation. I simply said to him to try and relax his hands and have a lighter contact. I've been giving riding lessons for more than 40 years and it is this that I repeat incessantly to all students and pupils who show me their difficulties in all corners of the world. Think of this and all will be easier and what is more important, the horse will thank you. 
So yes, it's um, yeah. That was the end of that chapter. Yes, uh, lightness, you know, and so much that affects everything. You know, the horse's jaw. If we're tight, it blocks everything up. If we can just be softer and lighter with our hands. And I think that comes back to also our attitude, you know, our feel, our intention, our whole outlook on what we're doing can be lighter. So, yeah, lightness is the number one thing. And that was Miguel's huge thing. And that was why we, I called this Centro Cresti La Luz, apart from we actually have a lot of light here in Malaga. But it was also about the lightness with which to work our horses. So... Thank you for being with me today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep tuning in to the light and have a good day. Bye.